Another major change to Florida's abortion law takes effect today. And just weeks after the state Supreme Court upheld Florida's 15-week ban, a new law passed by lawmakers last year, now in effect banning most abortions after just six weeks. The controversial change has people on both sides fired up. A new six's Mark Lehman is following the latest. And Mark, there are some exceptions, but not many. Yeah, they're detailed here in the Heartbeat Protection Act. It allows for exceptions for cases of rape, fetal abnormalities, or if the mother's life is at risk. Now, the six-week ban is becoming a big issue on the campaign trail, and it could have an impact on the presidential election. One of the strictest abortion laws in the country is now in place across Florida. Most abortions are banned after six weeks of pregnancy. When they come to our health centers to get pregnancy confirmation and find out how far along they are, they're going to be disappointed that they're that they're more than six weeks pregnant and can't get the care that they need. The change was signed into law last year by Governor Ron DeSantis, but faced legal challenges. In April, the Florida Supreme Court ruled that a privacy clause in the state constitution does not protect abortion rights. Vice President Kamala Harris will be in Jacksonville today to rally against the law. If she chooses, she will talk with her priest, her rabbi, her pastor, her imam. But it should not be the government telling her what to do. Harris's remarks are expected to echo those of President Biden, who visited Tampa last week. Both are hoping the fight for abortion rights will drive Democrats to the polls in November. Critics of the law maintain that a six-week restriction amounts to a virtual ban on abortions. Supporters, meanwhile, say it includes funding for pro-life resource centers to help pregnant women. $30 million has been earmarked in the legislation for those pregnancy resource centers. Now, all of this is happening as Floridians will be deciding on an amendment that would guarantee abortion rights in the state constitution. And amendment 4 is going to be on the November ballot. For now, reporting live in Orlando, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.